Today, we're gonna talk about how you can create an effective abstract painting. And let's get started. This is just my humble recommendation, but what I do when I start an abstract piece is I don't think of a, a thing, I don't think of a scene, so I'm not thinking, okay, I'm actually painting a meadow or sunrise over the ocean. That's not what I do, and if I think the best way for you to start an abstract piece, especially if you haven't done one before, is to go back to being a kid. Think about the materials. Don't think about some outside photograph or a memory. Think about paint, think about color, think about texture, think about having fun and taking joy in the act of painting. And I think you'll be, have a lot more success if you approach it that way. Success, 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 success. I think there's a lot of ways to approach a painting and there's certainly no wrong way. Like you don't have to do the whole canvas if you don't want to. You can leave some negative space in there. Whatever you want to do, it's your creative freedom. Freedom. It's a nice thing about this, you can, you have total creative freedom. Freedom. It's freedom. looking really cool. Oh yeah, that's cool. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. That's good. Okay, so see how we're putting in these beautiful colors now. And I'm going to just pull a little darker somewhere. Okay, so let's see if we can get some more colors. This doesn't have to make sense. Because it is, after all, an abstract painting. And the next step is to start adding a little bit of texture here. So we're going to go back in and we're going to do what's called dry brushing, which is what you see me doing here. And I have a very small amount of paint on my paintbrush, and I'm just sort of brushing it onto the surface of the panel. Just have fun here and experiment with the medium to see what kind of textures you can get. What I don't want you to do when you're painting this is try and replicate what I'm doing. This is abstract art and it should be very free form. You should make it as it comes to you. Don't try to duplicate what I'm doing. Take the things that I'm showing you and the things that I tell you and use that to create your own piece. You're not painting something specific, so nobody can say whether or not you messed it up or ruined it. Just keep messing with it. You could absolutely keep painting on this forever and ever and ever until you get it exactly how you want it. Forever and ever and ever. Forever and ever and ever. Forever and ever and ever. Then what you're going to see me doing here is once you've sort of done those first steps, start to add a little bit of color. So you can maybe, um, you know, add in some contrasting colors. Here you're seeing me lay down a little bit of pink. So I'm adding this this pink to this piece and um, then I'm also going to add a nice wash of like a buttery yellow across the top so if I had to say what I'm inspired by I'm sort of doing the colors of like a morning sky like before the sun has even come up um, how it, the sky is sort of white buttery yellow like uh, the color of cold butter and it's sort of a little bit pink and a little bit blue and a little bit periwinkle um, I know I just said don't be inspired by anything, but um, I think if you can balance the idea of being inspired by something and just having fun and, you know, thinking about color and texture, then you're going to be on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> so abstract painting is an expression of yourself. No one can create the abstract painting that you do. Abstract art is meant to be interpreted. If you have no idea what the artist intended, to say when they were painting it. That's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. You are the viewer, and it means to you what it means to you. We're just gonna do a straight pour across diagonally, whichever way you wanna go. Till next time, happy painting.